So, before doing the show, how much uh, were you into comic books and superheroes and all that? Not at all, really. To be honest, yeah. Uh, not very knowledgeable of it. The closest I can get to it is coming to conventions with Harry Potter and, and seeing firsthand like the, the passion and, and the quality of the work as well. Um, I think people that haven't seen this world may think that it's still stuck in the 80s or the 70s or whatever, but it's just been so radically rebranded what it means to be a superhero show or a show of the fan fantasy world. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. So what can you tell us about uh, Julian Dorff? Well, they're all, really. Great, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a CSI uh, investigator, he's a forensic expert, much, much similar to uh, Barry's line of expertise. Um, he speaks in a, in, a, in a British accent, <laughs> or at least so far, they haven't told me off for that. <laughs> so, I'm waiting, I'm one scene, so I'm waiting for that one, yeah. Uh, and that's about it. And they've told me that there's, there's going to be uh, a nice piece of meat to sink my teeth into at some point in the season. I have no idea what that is. Well, if it's involved with Flashpoint, and like everyone's talking about how they're playing different versions of themselves, yeah. might you be playing different versions of themselves? Well, my character has been introduced because of the... Uh, so everyone, to everyone else's existence, I've always been there. Mm. Barry's the only one who's like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Which leads to a great dynamic, yeah. Um, and Barry, uh, Grant does this thing so well of making every situation slightly funny, or, <laughs> or finding, a, finding some of the lightheartedness in every scene. So, um, yeah, we've only done one scene, but it was a lot of fun, really. Joining a series like this that's already in progress, but is basically reinventing itself with the third season, is it kind of like coming into a fresh new show for you? Did you feel like you needed to go back and watch season one or two, or because three is so radically different, it's better for you not really to? Yeah, know about they, that? they didn't ask me anything about that. Um, I've seen a couple episodes just sort of on TV flicking through. Um, I was naturally curious, I guess, so I watched one, and then 34 episodes later, I was still there watching. <laughs> it's a really, really feel good show. Um, I come up with a crap metaphor that it's like watching Friends and Spider-Man. Yeah, because it's it's a real action-based show with a lot of cool stuff. Um, but it, it also makes you feel warm somehow, and it's cozy. And I don't know. I found it a very comforting show to watch. So to be part of it now is, is pretty awesome. Can you say who your character is probably going to interact with the most, or at least? I know you've only shot one scene so far. See, my mind's coming up with like <laughs> fake joke answers now to say back to me, but I know not to do that in this situation. <laughs> Hermione, yeah. No. <laughs> um, I don't know, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I hope and envision it's going to be obviously involved with either Barry or the, or, or the Flash himself. Um, I don't know whether my character is a meta human or, you know, so really it's a. It's a do they not? They don't give you very much at the beginning. Then, do no. They? The only thing that I was like semi-suspicious of was that when we did measurements for costumes and stuff, usually it's pretty simple. Like five ten, <laughs> size ten shoe, and they can more or less figure it out. But they went into quite a lot of detail with measurements, so immediately I was like, "What are we doing?" <laughs> but apparently, they've all gone through that for digital reasons, not just for. So yeah. <laughs> I might not be getting to so wear it. So it doesn't mean a super <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> With the shoe and letting you look, or would you rather it stay? No, no preference. I have absolute faith in the right. Uh, that's one thing I am glad that I've seen in so many episodes, because the quality of the writing is so good. Lord knows I can contribute, so I'll stay back and uh, wait for the good pages to come. If you did get to be a metahuman, what would you like to be able to do? That was my first thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, after they measured me, I was like, so wait, does this mean I'm going to like freeze? <laughs> speed up time? What do I do? Uh, I don't know. Again, something, no doubt, I'll come up with something really cool. Every episode seems to be the, like, or every other episode seems to be a cool new uh, development of some kind, so. But you insisted no match. I said no one. <laughs> I'm kidding, I did. Yeah. <laughs> this show is set in the same universe as other shows. Would you like to visit any of the other shows while, you know, during the season of Flash? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying no to anything. I'm, I'm very happy in this, in this world. Uh, 
I think it feels like I've got the best choice of the bunch without dissing the other show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy where I am. Yeah. So is anyone you would like to have to guest star at some point? Uh, yeah, I mean, again, I'm not saying no, but it's not a direct uh, incentive or you know, something I look forward to doing, but hell yeah. I mean, I love just being, being part of this one world that is involved in so many other things to be part of, you know. DC, Marvel, Flash, The Arrow, all of these great worlds. Uh, hopefully I can blend into all of them at some point. I like your hat. Oh, thanks. Can I have it? <laughs> I, I have... I have... I'm kidding, I'm kidding.